So I think I've actually found a coach that will be at least okay. Um, he was actually in our system. He was our AHL assistant. And he actually kind of works well. Zadorov, kind of Walchuk. But they have low on the third pairing, but okay on this on the uh, top two pairings. Do Zadorov and Connor Walchuk. So they should be fine when they go, you know, into our system, essentially. Um, Tarnaski, Varakas, Rekis, they all looked pretty good. All of our two-way guys looked really good in the system, kind of anywhere. So I think this is going to be the guy for a bit. Uh, Maurice Robitaille, he's not the greatest, but he's not a bad coach by any means. It's the only thing really low is his coach influence, which I think means that he won't, that it'll more rely on the team. But who the hell cares? If we tank, we tank. Um, it's at least we're going to have good chemistry, or at least, well, decent chemistries and stuff like that. So that's who we're going to go with. I'm already as, uh, grabbing a couple other coaches. I promoted the, uh, the goalie coach from the AHL because uh, he's an A, and I'm getting a new goalie coach, teaching coach for the AHL. So there we go. All right. Um, so let's advance. We do have a dice tendered, I believe. Uh, yeah, there he is. Oh, he's only wanting... 4.8 million. That's me. That's honestly. Uh, that's a second. No, I'm not grabbing just a second for dice. Honestly, you may as well. Well, we're going to. Eh. I, how to say I might as well hold on to him? I don't know, man. Like. He's going to ask for less. A second for him seems kind of low, honestly. I don't know if what I can do about that, though. It says he'll be RFA again if I do one year. So I guess we'll try one more time. 5.5 mil for a year. We'll try that. Um, Varakas wants an extension. Do I want to take care of that? No, absolutely not. Holy shit. No, we're not taking care of that now. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, right, Varakas. Okay, we'll get... I guess we'll get Dice back. I hope that he has a better year. I guess we'll find out. Let's advance a few days. Make sure we kind of get everyone. This sucks, though. <laughs> that whole coaching fiasco sucks. Dice, the whole situation with him kind of sucks. What can you do, though, I guess? All right. Got the new HL assistant coach, new goalie coach. And I think that is it. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, dice. There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna sim up here, and we'll start getting the lines taken care of and everything, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so the lines are gonna be as follows, and I'm a bit confused with some of the chemistry, uh, particularly on the third line, but we'll get to that in a sec. Varakas, Ternaski, Lodnia, now he does have kind of low chemistry the first for the first line, so that makes sense, but Ternaski and, uh, Varakas... Pretty decent for it, as you can see, for that top line. Uh, second line, Rekis, Manderville, Erickson. We got Manderville in here. Uh, low top six uh, playmaker, 20 at 77. He's got good offensive stats, though. Uh, terrible on faceoffs, however. So maybe I want to move someone to the middle. Yeah. I kind of want Erickson in, a, in his position. So we'll move Rekis to the middle, actually. Have Manderville on the on that side. Yeah, no one's on there one times, but whatever. We got Varakas on his one time up here. Yeah, we'll keep uh the new guy in his uh one time there, I guess. Um, this is the third line. Lack, Crooks, and Pope. What the hell? Decent chemistry for the third line. Look at that. Decent. Crooks. Pretty decent. Not the greatest, but pretty decent. And then Pope. Pretty decent. Like, why? E but even if I put them on, like, the second line, Crooks doesn't have good chemistry for the second line. What if I did the first line? They all like first line, right? They all love the first line. If I don't get plus one on the first line with this, just, just, 
Just looking. Okay, they at least get plus one on the first, but still. It's silly that they don't get plus one on that third line. I'm sorry, that's absolutely stupid. They should get plus one. They're, I don't, this game hates two ways. It just, it hates two ways. That should be plus one. It really should. I don't understand, whatever. Soften, LaBerge, Dice, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna, you know, I got him in a bunch of other places. So we'll, 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 we'll see, we'll see what we can do. Uh, Manderville, Quenville for a plus five. Connor Walchuk, Zadorov, zero. Amari Nozier again. Yeah, this this one I I'm okay with it being zero. That's way too low. I don't I don't even think they'd be get one on the top pairing. Yeah, they don't. So that is what it is, and I um, hope they grow. Zadorov might not grow anymore, which is a bit unfortunate. In which case, I don't even know how we make him work on this team. Connor Walchuk better fucking grow. Um, it's just a little awkward playing him. Uh, I mean, I could play him in his in his role, honestly. He he hates the strategies, which I'm a little worried about, but he is in his role. So you know what? I'll do that. We get slightly better chemistry like this anyway. So fine. Um, power play. We're loading up the top unit, and I'm putting dice in there, just trying to get get him some points. Try to increase his value. You know, try to <laughs> try to get him to want a contract that'll actually give us a first rounder back. Uh, Varakas, Tarnaski, Rekis, Erickson, all of the top young guys. No playmakers, but power forwards and snipers, and then a grinder. We'll see. Um, Ludnia, Crooks, Lack, kind of Walchuk, and Pope on the second unit. Quick look at the, uh, four-man there. No dice anywhere. It's whatever. Penalty kill, LaBerge, and Dice, Demarchi, kind of Walchuk, Crooks, Pope, uh, Zadorov, and Nozier. Uh, three-man, Dice, taking face-offs with LaBerge down there. And actually, I don't want him. On like Crooks or someone. Damn, he doesn't increase it. Whatever. We'll put Crooks in there. Here we are. Extras. Four on four. Uh, Ternaski Varakis, obviously. Uh, Erickson Ludnia. So, passer shooter type deal. Except for these two. <laughs> um, Erickson Ludnia, though. Because Erickson can take face-offs, obviously. And then the last one, Manderville and Reckie. So, I'll have to switch them because Manderville sucks at face-offs. But, hey, we have another playmaker. And three on three lines, same sort of deal with uh, Connor Walchuk, Zadorov, and Demarchi as a defenseman. Extra attacker, Ternaski Erickson. Shootout lineup is as follows Lack has a 99 deking. Not the greatest shot, but hella crazy deking. And Pope actually has pretty high deking, too. So it's that's your shootout lineup. Walstead Latipov as the goaltender, 76 and 75. And Puka as an extra goaltender, Zubov and uh, Yasik as our scratches. And you can see our AHL team. Don't look at the defense. Half of them are forwards. I need to... <laughs> apparently don't have enough uh, drafted defensemen or at least signed. So whatever. It is what it is. Okay. Uh, captains are... Demarchi is captain. Tarnaski and Dice have the A's. No one's listed as a leader. I could have swore I drafted guys with the leadership quality. Maybe not. Maybe that wasn't this one, but whatever. It is what it is. We'll see what the hell happens. But yeah, I was kind of hoping chemistries would be better. They looked like they would be better on paper, but they're not. So, deal with it. Alright. Let's check uh, possible extensions again. Varakis is a bit interesting. Good lord. Okay, that's okay. So he just, for some reason, wants 13 million for five years. Drops way down for six. 11.3 something for 8. He might be worth it. He's 90 overall, man. Like, he is 90 overall. So it's nearly 10. 9, 6, 2 or so. But we're getting Tarnaski to an absolute steal of a deal, so we can honestly probably afford it. I mean, for what he brings to the table, as long as he keeps producing at the level that he should... And did last, I mean, point per game. He's well worth point per game if he gets that. So, honestly, with his, I, I think he'll earn it. And I think I want to sign that before he plays and, and gets really, really good. We'll see. But, yeah, 9-6. Nine, 9-6-5, six, nine, six, essentially. I think we'll sign him to that. I think he'll earn that. Again, we have Tarnaski to an extremely team-friendly deal. So let's 100% go and, oops, go and sign Barakas here. 
So right there for eight years, that's fine. It's under 10, which is pretty damn good for a 90 overall. Now, he might be stat growth up, but he'll keep it up. And he's only 20, so he's definitely going to get more growth and such. Well, he should at least. And that's it, everyone else. That's our only major signing. Yep. We got... Well, we won't have Erickson for another two years. Lack will be up next year. Did we already get Pope? Yeah, we got Pope. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's right. I got him to an insanely good deal. We already got Reckies to a pretty damn good deal. Well, he needs to grow into it more, but he should. I mean, he's 2181. Like, he should still grow, right? Don't bust. <laughs> he's, he'll be a salt second liner unless in, the, in this strategy. So, there. Is the door off not looking great? Kind of wall chuck. Hoping this is a big year for him to grow. This is a really, really big year for him to grow. So, hopefully, he does so. All right. Let's see what happens with this team. Kind of excited. This uh, Anything could happen. Our goalies are absolute trash, but hey, we have an A goalie coach, so you never know. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go that first little month and a half. All right. Got to remove all this crap again. All right. Oh, yeah, and we do have our uh, our elite goaltender playing in the HL. So, Varak has signed his extension. Awesome. He's with us for a very long time. He's definitely a big piece. All right. <laughs> Minor injury. Don't want him getting injured right off the bat. That would be bad. Same with the Marchi. All right. Pretty damn good preseason. Didn't lose in regulation. Yeah, we didn't lose on regulation whatsoever. 5-0-2 throughout preseason. We could make the playoffs here. Pretty good win to start off. We'll see. We shall see. I mean, we got an absolutely stacked first line. So, yeah, we're starting off on a good note here. Let Auto Scout get to work. So far, so good. And we're actually defending pretty damn well. We haven't allowed more than two goals in one game. What the hell? San Antonio Chupacabra. Kicking ass here. 7-0 start. What a turnaround. Oh my goodness. We are dominating. Oh, we finally lost. Who was it to? I don't even know. Who cares? Whatever. Arizona's terrible. We beat them. We are tied for first in the division with the Blackhawks. And we beat them. My goodness. <laughs> Alright, we get blown out, shut out, by uh, New Jersey in the second half of a back-to-back. -back. Also losing to uh, Florida there. Scoring three, though, still. All right, three losses in a row. We do get a point out of one. A lot of losses. Oh, man, okay. Okay, wait a sec. <laughs> oh, no. Damn, this month has been absolutely terrible for us. Oh, no, I really thought we, like, kind of turned a corner there. I mean, we could still sustain it. It was, I mean, yeah, if we turn it around with another win streak, you never know. We're second in the division now, three points behind the Jets, now behind the Blackhawks as well. Pascal LaBerge has been injured. He's our 4C. Okay, I was just looking at differences in overall there real quick. A couple of guys different. Um, okay. I guess Yasik will slot in there, whatever. Nice win. Okay, 16, 7, and 1. Second in the division with 33 points. Sammy Varakis has 35 points in 24 games played. Yeah, I'd say he's worth 9.6 mil. Holy shit. Yeah, we're going to check everything, I guess, because we're up there. 3.5, 8, or sorry, 2.83 for goals against. That's not bad. Power plays, wow, really good. 35.7. So Dice being on. I hope Dice is getting some points. Penalty kills, ass, but who cares? We're a glass cannon of a team right now, evidently, which kind of makes sense. Well, actually, we have decent defense, so what am I saying? Damn, look at that. Tarnaski, 35 points, 17 goals. Uh, sorry, that's Varakis. Tarnaski, 30 points, 16 goals. Lodnia, 22 points. Recky says 21. Erickson with 20 in his rookie year. He should continue to dominate. Pope has 16. Mandeville 16, which ain't too bad for a 78. <laughs> yeah, he's got a uh, decent... Uh, Decent stuff. Uh, Lack. Dice only has 10 points. He's got six of them on the power play. So, hey. Yeah. 
it is what it is. I have to. I, he doesn't have any. He's literally getting pushed off of this roster. He's just getting pushed off of this roster. Uh, yeah, no one really scores points for us. We got some decent plus minuses here and there. So there you go. Lol. Wallstead's over a 900. He's actually got a good. Yeah, he's actually doing pretty damn good. Latipov's only played two games. I'm a little nervous that I have goalie rotations. But I, I, I wouldn't have changed goalie rotations. So. No, I, I wouldn't have changed it at any point. So they should be on. They're, they're fine. I'm not going to. I'm not actually not going to trip over that. I mean, he could actually become like an 80 overall. <laughs> you never know. Alrighty. Interesting. Interesting so far. Okay, let's let's fly. I'm just gonna go up to the deadline. We're not gonna do the normal growth check, and we'll just go up to the deadline, check some stuff there, I guess. Eh, you know what? I want to see. I changed my mind. I'll do a quick growth check and then do a check of everything at the deadline. We're actually kind of becoming a semi-competitive team here. We'll see. We'll see if we're able to keep it up. Okay. Moving on here. All right, let's do some scouting now. So we're not probably not going to have a fucking course. Fuck you, game. Absolutely fuck you. Oh my god. Now, now comes an OFD when we're absolutely not going to be able to get him. Weirdly, it says shutdown ability, great puck mover, heavy slap shot for an OFD. It says OFD, right? Yeah, OFD. Uh, all right, I'm still gonna scout the top. Actually, the top five should be scouted. Well, you never know. It might not be scouted. I'm still gonna get started on it. You know what? We could drop back, still be a lottery selection. So I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, we're we're, we're, we're the tits right now because we're definitely, possibly not. But of course, of course, now comes the OFD. I still don't know what the hell we're doing. Yeah, we still need a lot more on the way of defense. Like we're not even close to done on that. I don't know what the hell we're gonna do for some of this. I still can't believe we didn't get like a OFD at any point. Kind of nuts. Why is the low elite playmaker coming extraordinarily early? He has leadership ability too. Well, I des I might desperately need him. Again, though, we need o we need well we need defenseman. Doesn't have to be an OFD. An OFD would be nice to pair with Demarchi, but. Don't know if we'll be able to grab one. The whole goal of this is to somehow win a cup. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as we win the goddamn cup. But, yeah, we're going to need some help to do so, I'm pretty sure. These guys are both going to be... That's an early-ass goaltender, too. What the hell is this draft? Huh. This is an awkward... I'm not too sure what to make of this draft, Jeff. That's an early low elite, and that's an early goaltender. Very curious. I'm going to keep scout. I'm going to scout all the way because I really need more info. And by, by all the way, I mean all the way through the second round. Probably do about 50. Mostly focusing on known knowns there, but still, I don't know. Might focus a lot on defensemen, too. But, I mean, we need two, less DFDs and more two ways or OFDs. Possible grinder. Ugh. I think he can max be top six. That really sucks. I'm still going to scout a bit more, but... This is not looking great for uh, depth in this draft so far. If my eyes do not deceive me. Very interesting. Ooh. Well, he can, unless he's an elite, in that case, the medium elites are coming super early, which definitely means that, but there's a low. Interesting. I'm not too sure what to make of this. It could be deep, it could be shallow. Because we saw the top 6D possibly in the later 30s, which they usually aren't our, but now we're also seeing possible top 4s in the 40s as well as low elites, so maybe it's more deep than I thought initially? Who the hell knows? Anyway, up to 50 we go. That'll be a good start for us in the top, so let's target scout now.
Only one really to take a look at there. These guys are way too late, but I kind of felt compelled. <laughs> oh wow, there's a lot right here. Van Rhyne. I'm honestly not meaning to change my scouts, just not registering my clicks fast enough. Although sometimes it is beneficial to change them if you're scouting a lot. Because then they should theoretically get them scouted a bit faster. Who knows? You split the workload. Share the load. Okay, one guarantee. Another one we we're looking at. This one in an awkward spot, but we'll see. Ooh. Come on now. Give me something. Okay, well, there's a lot to look at, but half of them are already being scouted, so that's kind of taking the wind out of my sails here. Wow, 480, but I already clicked. Alright, there we go. Okay, at least we got these guys to take a look at. Okay. This guy's in an interesting spot. Could definitely be medium elite. Yeah, I'm still... I'm just going to go the widest range possible for everything that I know to be uh, possible, honestly. In the way of uh, where prospects going to end up, because I have no clue what the hell this draft is. <laughs> it's very... On first glance, it's confusing as, 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 all, as all hell. Early goaltender, early low elite, but it also looks like the top fours could go pretty late in the second considering as well as another low elite but that could end up being a medium elite and a low six or something like that so it could be yeah it could be a shallow draft still but i'm not taking any chances here i'm scouting everything please be an ofd and please be an elite please please fucking please oh my god he's got three year eta Ooh, i really like that guy please be an ofd elite and let me draft you Three or ETA too, man. That'd be huge. That'd be absolutely massive to get. That's so late. What am I doing? That'd be so massive to get that guy. Alrighty, getting towards the end of the rope here. Another high goaltender. Another 19-year-old. Let's see. I guess I'll still look at goalies. I don't think we have a guarantee yet. Langenbrunner. Alright, that guy. Okay, he's being scouted. Er, yeah. Alright, few more two tick nines here. So yeah, at least we have a decent amount to look at. That's a strong scouting pool for you. It usually gives you a nice little head start. Okay, that guy is being scouted. Couple possible defensemen here. Another possible OFD. A good look in him to grow. Okay. Looks like that's the end of the line. Yes, indeed. So there we go. Getting the scouting underway. Big win against Montreal. 8-1 to one victory. Lose to Calgary in overtime. Manorville's fully healed. I don't think he was out. I'm double checking though because that's a pretty... Yep. Okay, no, he wasn't out. Continuing on here. Nice win. Another big... Sh well, a big shutout win, I should say. Not another. Alright, a couple losses right there. That's an okay loss against Nashville. We still scored, but... We're starting to drop down in this division. We do have four points separating us from the wild card spot, but we're tied with the person right below us. 
Nice win. Couple nice wins. I don't know, man. I think I think we're making it. I think we're gonna make it. I don't foresee the wheels falling off by this point. I mean, we're almost we're almost in January. We're 23, 11, and three. I mean, we, th things would have to really go wrong for us to drop out. Varakis is okay, not doing as crazy as he was before, but he's still well over point per game. 11 over point per game. 24 goals, 37 games played. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, we're in second, three point lead over the Blackhawks. Uh, Five point lead over the Blues, who have the wild card. Yeah, over both wild cards. Sweet. Looking good. Looking good. Let's check out the progress reports here. Um, Erickson's grown. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's up to an 86 now. Should be ready for second. Well, he is on the second line, so yeah. Good lord. Franchise sniper, man. He's going to be so goddamn good. His shot hasn't grown at all, but whatever. Dice, that's probably stat. Yeah, I'm stat minuses, actually. Tarnaski, probably stat growth, yeah. Oh, wow, it's a lot of stat growth. Interesting. Varakas, okay, not as good. So a lot of it, a lot of his is natural, but Tarnaski. So maybe the, uh, the contract for him is more fair than we thought. It's a lot of stat growth. God damn it, Demarchi. And Brekis. Lack, stat growth, Pope. Stack growth. Okay. Well, hey, they, we only need, please be natural. Good. Well, one tick of natural. Fuck you, Connor Walchuk. Why aren't, why aren't my guys growing? My defensemen just refuse to grow. I know we don't we don't have a targeted defensive coach, but they were not like they're growing when we had that. God damn it. Ooh. All right. Well, Hanson's growing. Orpik, Corpicari, Zuzan, Jennings growing a bit. Bremberg's growing. That's good. That's another DFD. But who the hell cares? Rasmussen, Jesus, yeah, he is, he's looking solid. Houston in, growing a little bit. I don't think that's the grinder piece, no, because I got the grinder piece in the AHL. Okay, not a ton of growth. We're missing a bit from this goaltender and this York guy. But it's early. We do have a lot of growth in different places, so that's... It's going well. All right, up to the deadline. We have 77 locker room chemistry. We ain't doing too bad here. Not doing too bad. So we'll check a lot more here at the deadline. Oh, wow. We got destroyed by Toronto. <laughs> Holy shit. They absolutely humbled us. God damn. We answered back with a couple wins, then a loss to Buffalo. Oh, how are you going to lose to Arizona, even in overtime? Come on, guys. You got to blow teams like that out of the water. Big four-point game, though. Pope was fine against Chicago. And we shut Philly out 4 nothing. Yeah, we're making the playoffs, man. No, no doubts about it. There's zero chance we miss at this point. I mean, not zero chance, but I mean, there's. I don't foresee us going nuts and dropping out. All right, scouting time real quick. All right, continuing on, here's Sidorov goes down with an injury. So that's a bit unfortunate. London is up to an 87. <laughs> it's got to be morale, but that's hilarious. I, someone tell me what London has started out as. Oh, yeah, we have Zubov as our depth guy. Congrats. I can't remember what overall we, we dra drafted Ludnia with at the expansion draft. Yeah, people... We got, we got someone like, complaining that I still got him. Man, I, I grew that guy from nothing. <laughs> uh, wait. Oh, yeah. I, Zubov is a door off. It's confusing me. Uh, so that was quick. For Zadorov back in. Come on, Connor Walchuk, you fuck. Grow. Oh, boy. So past the all-star break, won a couple more games. Winning games, man. We might get 40 and under 20 here. And, I mean, there's a goddamn good chance we do that, which is the sign of a budding elite team, if not an elite team. Uh, someone in the AHL, of course, is a defenseman, which I have zero of. Seismic Gardle. 2270. This guy could be a depth piece, and I'm fucking excited about that. I've never, I don't think I've ever used a 7D that I've actually drafted. Good lord. 
<laughs> Our defense is so bad there. Because <laughs> we don't have defense. Literally, I think three or four of them are forwards. Come on now, San Antonio. Give me what I want. What I really, really want. Yeah. Literally the bottom four. We only have two defensemen here. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Alright, lost right there. Oh, man. Come on. Damon Crooks is out with a bruised arm. Alrighty. I'm actually going to move Dice up. And then throw in Yasik down here. Ah, boo! Oh, you guys suck. 37, 17, and 8. Still under 20 regulation losses, so there's that. But 37, 17, and 8 here. That's not half bad. It's really not a half bad record. Varakas is still crushing it, man. 14 points above point per game. That was a weird hiccup. Ugh. Um, 3.5 to it. We've been pretty... Consistent the entire year with three and a half goals for around 2.8 to 2.9 goals against Power play it's no longer above 30, but it's still in the high 20s, which is crazy penalty kill still sucks But we got four shorties I'm actually gonna see how we stack up because we're getting to that point where we're actually Pretty damn good offensively. We're just in the top 10 defensively We're just in the top 10 okay, so we're scratching the surface power play we have the second best power play by just a 0.1% under Dallas. Uh, our penalty kill is going to be awful, but at least Dallas is awful too. So hey, -o. our uh, in, in, interstate rivals. <laughs> All right, check out some points here. Jeez, 76 points for Veraka, 69 for Ternaski, Reckes with 55, Lodnio 50, or sorry, 57, 57 for him. Erickson dropped off a bit, only 52 now. Oh, good lord, he wants first line time. He's up to an 88. <laughs> well, I think I'll leave him on the second line for now. That's a lot of growth for one year there, Ola Erickson. Manderville, 36 points, needs to be more. Oof, he's, how's he only have one point on the power play? I think it's our just our first unit doing a lot of the work. Hmm. Third line's got okay production. Yeah, no production from the back end. Wallstead has consistently been... These stats almost look identical to the last time I checked. I know Wallsteads are near identical. I, he has the same save percentage, doesn't he? Weird. And I almost want to feel like his goals against is the same, but I could be completely wrong about that. Interesting. Alright, well, we're not going to stop for too long. I'm actually going to wait to show growth till the end of the year. Um, because, again, we're going to actually have playoffs here. <laughs> so we're going to show all that at the end of the year. Let's see what the hell happens. Keep him block. Not stopping here. We'll see. We'll see uh, if any major trades happen in the rest of the league. Maybe. Possibly. Well, that's a long time simming. So, there we go. Risto Leiden to Pittsburgh with a second and a third for Erickson Eck and a fourth. That's it? Come on now. Uh, Aidzel has been injured. So we're throwing Tropchenko, who's at least a power forward with him. And continuing on here. Beat the Sharks. Uh, come on now, Burnaby. Stop getting injured. All right, nice win right there. Aidzel's back for the top line. Then Gregoire's on the third.
Someone fired their coach. I didn't check the name. <laughs> Couple t rough games right there. Crooks is back. So there we are. Back to the fourth line you go, Dice. Let me check that. Do I have him in the... No, I don't have him in... I don't have him on the power play. That's why. Manderville's not on the power play. That would, that would explain it. Well, I don't really want to remove any of these guys. You can say maybe you can get Connor Walchuk the fuck out of there. We can throw Manderville in there just to help him out. Sure. All forwards on our power play units. <laughs> That's how good our defensive cores are. Yeesh, four losses in a row here. All right, let's do some scouting real quick. All right, we move on. Crooks injured again. Interesting. Getting injured at a pretty rough time here, buddy. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I want to do. Switch like that. There we are. Uh, beat Buffalo, who are a pretty damn good team. Ugh, Burnaby. These injuries are killing me. What the? Oh, yeah, he's a fucking defenseman. There you go. Come on now. Let me finish this year off. Oh, my God. Who? Okay, Gregoire and then the other dude. I'm, I'll just wait till he's fully healed because it'll notify me anyway. Lost to Philly. Yep, Caleb Carlos now back. Who is here there we go we quite done hopefully oh fuck okay <laughs> that's fine you can you can inform me that crooks is back i like i like news like that rip dice No more injuries. No, no, you're not allowed. God damn, stop losing. Lost three in a row. Came back with a win. I hate you so much, Burnaby. Why now? Seriously, why now? And another defenseman, huh? Oh, it's not a def It's another quote-unquote defenseman. Just throwing Shopchenko in there. Oh, my goodness. There you go. Nice win. We can't hit 50 wins, but that's okay. We had a pretty damn good year regardless. We had 100 points, so hey. No, we weren't going to catch up to the Jets anyway. We, were you going to win out, though? Good fucking Lord, Burnaby. Christ. So annoying. 10,000 injuries to my AHL team at the end of the year. Yeah. Yeah, we won out the season, and we got to face Chicago in the first round. Lindros is back. He was here, I guess. Pretty sure he was. Oh, no, or was he back here? I cannot remember now. For the life of me. I think he was on the... Yeah, Newman and... Oh, man, we had a freaking sniper. Top six sniper on the back end. Who cares? We have enough snipers. <laughs> if I ruin him, I ruin him. We need an OFD. <laughs> okay. Taking on Chicago here. Let's uh, wrap up the season as we do. Three, three, three goals for two, eight, nine. So our goals for dropped, and our goals against kind of kept going up. That's not good. Power play even dropped. Ugh. 
Seven and three in the last ten, though. I'm not. I'm not gonna check. I, I don't think we're gonna be good enough to really. Veracas almost had a hundred point year, though. That's pretty awesome. Forty six goals, fifty points for Veracas. Tarnaski was point per game with forty five goals. Lodnia had seventy six. <laughs> Where was he drafted? He was a third round pick by Minnesota. Recky said seventy five. Erickson had a seventy three point rookie year. Manderville. Ended up with 53 points. He only got, like, what, one power play point since I put him there? Not great. Dice had 41 points. Meh. Pope of 40. Lack 36. Demarchi. Wow, where is... Crooks only had 22. He did miss some time, but... Yeah, no one great producing on the back end. Uh, dude, Wallstead did extremely good. I mean, if this doesn't get him stack growth, what the hell does? He could actually become a serviceable goaltender. As long as he doesn't have a complete shit year. But short-term contracts for just yes for Wallstead. <laughs> Absolutely. Latipov wasn't the greatest backup of all time. Yeah, under the points I wanted out of him, under 900. But whatever, he's a 70-something. All in all, not too bad. And around the league here. Kyle Connor with 116 points, McDavid 111, Shifley, Eichel. You know, so still a lot of the top guys are the top guys. Goal leader, Matthews with 61. Assist leader, Barzal with 77. Who is the most clutch? Barkov, probably, yeah. And he missed some. Okay, no, he oh, he got injured in the last game of the season. Rip. And he's oh yeah, he's on Buffalo. That's right. Power play goal leader, Kucherov with 22. Power play point totals. Marshan in Nashville with 37. Interesting. Shorties. Uh, Fedotenko with five. He was a fourth overall pick in 2020. Studnik, I think. Jesus. Eight points shorthanded. O'Reilly. Goddamn. Can it be anyone but him? Pedersen's in the conversation. Kunin's in the conversation. Barzal's in the conversation. Rip. Need some more face-offs. Oh, good lord. He's gonna win it again, isn't he? He's won it, like, every single fucking year. God damn it, EA. <laughs> Mostly O'Reilly, but god damn it, EA, too. Okay, Provorov. I don't know if I've ever seen him win a Norris, but he's about to. 100% about to win a Norris. Yeah, that should be all his. Good job, Provorov. Has is stroking it. All right. She's jerking. I'd say he's tied with Hellbuck, but good lord, poor guy. I was like, only 28 wins. He's got 20 less wins, seven less games played, but look at all the overtime losses. More shutouts somehow. Gustafson did pretty good. Dreger as well. But look up here, man. Wallstead's in the top 10 in save percentage. <laughs> Great game. He's a goddamn 77. He's like, he's minimum six overall worse than anyone else up here. Hey, he's in the top ten. Great game, EA. Absolutely terrific. Well, there's a good goalie coach for you, I guess. Let's check out some rookies. Yeah, no one even close to, he's 20, 21 points more than the next guy. It was Antoine Colbert, who was fourth overall, actually in that last draft. Yeah, wow. Man... Let's go, Manderville. Yeah, Manderville got as many points as a fourth overall pick. Get fucked. He was a fourth overall selection three draft years. No, two draft years ago. Sorry, seventh round selection in 24. Holy shit. We were probably hoping for a low lead. He didn't pan out, but look what he did. He made the NHL still. And honestly, 20 years old, 78. He's, he's absolutely serviceable. He can't really take draws, which sucks, but... He is absolutely serviceable. Jeffrey Manderville, man. What a rookie year for him. Good for you. He's 20 years old. He tied a 19-year-old in the amount of points. Good job. Erickson, though, should hands down win that Calder. Let's see if any rookie goalies were uh, good. Jacobson was okay. Everyone else is pretty meh. Okay. Okay. So we're in the playoffs here against Chicago. Um, I might do this slightly differently. I might not check after every round. I don't like points and stuff. I don't know. I'll kind of maybe more do this 
more quick wise so who knows but there you get a look at the uh, playoff tree there we'll see we shall see we at least want to know who we're going up against though I might not I don't know I feel like I need to check the stats gives a gives a picture paints a picture Nylander Strom to brink it Doc Bennett Kasha Mickey have Norris Gauthier Rasmussen Haula Kalorn pretty good team Grizzlick, Boakfist, Spurgeon. Ugh, that's a terrible defensive core. And they got Mackenzie Blackwood in net, though. And some decent, all defensive depth. Interesting. All right. Compare them to us, though. We're young as hell. We are awkward as hell. We are, Our role players are not great. But, I mean, our team has really, really come together. We have a very, very solid top four. And when you look at, like, Crooks, Lag. I mean, even some of these guys, when we get rid of Lodnia... Pope, Lack, maybe some of them can play in the top six, but or one of them because we got Manderville. Maybe Dice could play up there. <laughs> Put Dice on the second line. That's so bad. Uh, and our defensive core, it's eh, probably not as good as theirs. <laughs> but hey, it worked. Maybe we could cheese the hell out of them. I don't know what's going to happen. But I guess we'll find out. We somehow has, uh, we barely have home ice advantage over Chicago. Let's see what happens. Game one. Uh, oh, good. Lodney is out with an injury till the 25th. Well, I'm just going to stick in the uh, the playmaker here. Maybe I move Manderville up. But Yasik's a playmaker at least. He's not incredible if I remember. Definitely not. That sucks. Lodney getting injured in the first game. Peter Donkey Doo is like feeling so vindicated right now. See? Shouldn't be on your team. <laughs> I'm going to put Manderville up there because it gives plus three. Uh, we won game one, four to three in OT. Game two. Unbelievable. We win five to two. What is happening? Game three on the road. All right, we lose. Series doesn't begin until a team loses on home ice. Can we win game four? No, we lose in overtime. Two tough wins, right? Or two tough losses. Pivotal game five back on home ice. We win three to one. Game six on the road. And we win 4-1. We get by Chicago in the first round. Oh my goodness. San Antonio Chupacabra. Let's go. Dallas waiting for us in round two. And they swept their first round. Of Here, here's where our journey ends, I'm pretty sure. Good God. Okay, let's see. How are we doing? Uh, three, six, seven, two point five power play is awful, but then penalty kills good. So the polar opposite of what we did in the regular season, but whatever. This is what's important: five on five and doing very, very well. That's kind of insane. I'll just look at all. No, you know what? Okay, so Ternaski and Erickson, Varakas, Reckies, all of our top guys are really getting the job done. There's a huge drop off after that, though. No real depth scoring. Lodnia getting injured sucks. He had an assist in that game, too. Uh, Demarchi's actually getting some production. Impressive. And Wallstead's a god! <laughs> yes, for Wallstead is the cheese. Let's go. We got Dallas up in the second round here. What do they got for us? Heedle, McKinnon, Hartman, Zucker, Sagan, Robertson. Oh my God, Gurianov, Strange, Strange, uh, McKinn. Not a great fourth line, but that's a scary. And they got a pretty damn scary defensive core. Especially with uh, he will not be named in there, but they got Jari. What? What? Look at Jari. Bullshit. I call bullshit on that e EA. Tristan Jari is ass in the playoffs. All right. Well, let's see what happens. Oh, wait. Dallas wasn't at the top. That was Winnipeg. Anyway, we got home ice advantage against Dallas, who looked like they swept Winnipeg. So, hey. Let's see what happens. Game one. Lodney is back, baby. I might leave Manderville up here, though. I'll sub him back in. Does this actually give us better chemistry? No, unfortunately. Well, it does, theoretically. Yeah, it's looking as good on the third line. I might try this. I might leave it like this. Game one. 
Four to two win. Game two. Eight to two win. What is happening? Okay, again. On the road now. Or, yeah, series doesn't start. Blah, 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 blah. Posse Newman is back. We got to throw him in on, like, the second line or something. There he goes. We win five to three. We are one win away from sweeping. What is happening? We just swept Dallas. Wallstedt only allowed eight goals in four games. What the fuck? Jesper Wallstedt, what are you doing? We got the Oilers. McDavid and the Oilers. Oh, God. Here's where we have to lose, right? McDavid and the Oilers. We don't have home ice advantage. What is what is even happening? What if I win the challenge right now, man? Is it over? <laughs> if I win the cup, I win, right? Holy shit, what is happening? The San Antonio Chupacabra are, are something else. 4-1-2-3. 25% power play. 88% penalty kill. What? What? Apparently, this is the cheesiest team I've ever assembled. Erickson with 15 points, Varakis with 14, Tarnaski has 13, Rekis with 12, and then, yeah, huge, huge lack after that. They gotta keep producing. <laughs> they have to keep producing, or else we're fucked. But DeMarchi, man, what is he doing? That's what a captain does. He produces when you need him to. Connor Walchuk, please grow. <laughs> yes, for Wallstead, what a goddamn beauty. Unbelievable. He is facing... 34 shots per game. 34.1 shots per game. That's what... Good lord. Yeah. He is... Figuring out a way. Okay. Oilers. What do they got? We're in the conference finals, guys. We are in the conference finals in 2027 of a draft to glory. And now I'm going to get told I'm fucking cheating because I kept... I don't care. This is, this is the first time I'm doing the challenge. I'm winging it, and I'm here in the conference fucking finals in 2027. Eat a dick, doubters. Dreisaitl, McDavid, Pugliarvi, yikes, Cahoon, Lindholm, Nyquist, Quokinen, Nelson, Comfer, Everly, Pius Suter. That's a solid offensive core. Gerard, Bouchard, Barry. They got Barry still. Not a great defensive core, but we know how that much that doesn't matter. They got two solid goaltenders. But we have Jesper Wallstead. We have the power of God and anime on our side. Game one on the road. We've had home ice advantage so far. Can we do it on the road? Game one. Ah, oh, we lose three to two. Game two. Don't care. Fuck. All right, all right. Let's uh, switch Manderville and Lodney again. We got to make that move here. All right, come on. We're, we're down two games. So no, not like this. We got to win on home. We've been great on home ice. Let's go. Come on, guys. Game three. We need to come back. No! <laughs> Looks like the road ends here. Wait a sec. We win one. We win two! Are we going to force a game seven here on home ice? We win three! We force a game seven! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. San Antonio Chupacabra. A chance. To pull off the reverse sweep. You're damn right. We have to go into this. We got to keep the platform at the same as the normal franchise mode. What is happening? First period against Edmonton. Quokinen opens up the scoring. one nothing on Jesper Wallstead. We need a response. Big penalty kill. We need a response offense. Come on, guys. Uh-oh. Ah, Nyquist makes it 2 nothing. We cannot get shots. Wait, Erickson with a big power play goal. Stops the bleeding, makes it a one-goal game, heading into the second. Okay, still within reach. Nine shots to ten. Come on, San Antonio. Come on. No, no, no. Oh! Tarnaski with a shorty! A shorty from Tar- Oh, fuck! Pius Suter right after the power play ends. Power play influenced goal to take back the lead. Three to two for Edmonton. No. God damn, we're taking so many penalties. Come on. Come on, San Antonio. Let's go. Not a lot of shots for us. Down by one going into the third. Come on. The top top guns. We need it. We need it right here. Come on, guys. Third period. Big third. Big third. 
Let's go, guys. Someone needs to tie this game up. Someone needs to tie this game up. Come on, San Antonio. The Chupacabra. Come on, suck their goats. Ah, come on. Yeah, Reckies ties the game. Reckies ties the game, baby. No! Fucking who's quoking in? No! And we fall short in game seven. They win the game four to three and win the series four to three. Oh no, the San Antonio Chupacabra. One game away from advancing to the cup finals. Oh, the Cinderella story coming to a screeching halt at the hands of McDavid. Actually, fuck McDavid. Quokinen and the Oilers. Ah, oh, that sucks, man. We were so close. So close, yet so far. Reese kind of wall chuck. Doesn't matter. Head coach replaced player. We're out. Ah. Oh. Oh, so close, man. So close. One game away. One game away from making it to the cup finals. But we fall short, dude. That sucks. I'm not going to bother checking team stats. We'll just see who the standout players were. Varakis, man. He's well worth that money. 23 points in 17 games played. Erickson, the rookie, 20 points in 17 games played. Tarnaski. Uh, one of the alternates, 19 points and 17. Reckies was point per game. Dice didn't even do too bad, man. Really didn't. We're still maybe trying to get rid of him, but if we can't, if we can't get like a, a at least a first back for him, I'm just gonna keep him. We have to at that point. We're just gonna find a long-term contract for him and just keep him. All right, Ludnia did pretty good. Nine points in 12 games played. Mandeville not great, but he's you know he is what he is. Yeah, needed needed a lot more depth scoring really to sustain that. Demarchi, pretty damn good for being a DFD. Uh, and I, you can't say anything bad about Jesper Wallstead. He did better than he did in the regular season, not goals against wise, but save percentage wise, absolutely. Um, and he was facing a pretty damn significant amount of shots per game. Let's see. He played every minute of every game. So yeah, he he faced almost he faced thirty four and a half shots per game. Thirty four and a half shots per game. And he did his he did his best. Jesper Wallstead, what a season for you! I I'm, you bet I better see you above 80 overall next year. If you're not, what the hell game? Ah, but unfortunately, it was not meant to be. San Antonio Chupacabra falls short, and now we're not going to have any more good draft picks. So it's all about finding steals now. <laughs> it looks like. So that's all right. I like our core. I do like our core. We're still missing some pieces. Manderville, we really, really need Manderville to work out. Ludnia, when his contract is up, he's gone. Fine. You guys, fine. You want him gone? Fine. I didn't draft him. Fine. He's gone. Happy? All right. Well, uh, we fall short, but it was a great season. So thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button. I'll see you in the next one.